I'm not, be, be the last in it. I'm not going to take it on the air, but I'll tell you what. I, it's going to be interesting to hear what I talk about on the air on Hot 97 tomorrow morning. Oh, by the way, hi. Hey, good morning, everybody. And Peter's here. Music. I'm here, too. And the music in for Peter for ENN, even though he's right next to me. Hi, Peter. Yeah, no, I dragged Anthony in here. I said, you know what? He was good. Michael's out. You should do ENN so we can do it Do it right. Well, ENN is brought to you by Security Dodge. Go see Michelle Scalise and... Come get, get some! some. Yeah. I wanted a third one. That's that's more than stereo, Michelle Scalise. Yeah, let's get back on track here. I'd like to say good evening to Peter and Michael. Don's in recovery, as we all know, from the Dorito situation. And soda. And soda. And cigars. And cigars. See, he's... And be, pipes. He's, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> Were you a pipe guy? I always huh? said... I, I, I tried it, enjoyed it. I'm like, I'm too young. I gotta wait till I'm 50. But then I was off smoking by then, so I do like a good pipe. That's great. 2025 is just right yeah, around the corner. Just, it's, it's all there. I'm a big dude guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you think DoorDash is getting involved with serial killers? I think they can corner the market. I don't think anybody's involved yet. <sighs> no, it's true what you're no. saying. Yeah. Have a cup of Joe to let it flow. Let he it spends flow. enough time in there. It's not flowing. It's unfortunate. That was a quote from a biodome. The bio need a cup of Joe to let it flow. And it wasn't your voice. I had, to th- I had to figure it came from somewhere. The no? Brendan Fraser vehicle. No. Pauly Shore vehicle. That's it. There you go. Wasn't Brendan Fraser in also? No, he was um, in um, The Other Like a Man. No. Yeah. No. Wait, hold on. You think you have another Pauly Shore? There's a Pauly Shore Brendan Fraser vehicle. Stand by. Clearly somebody made a deal. Airheads? He's in Airheads, right? Airheads, yeah, but Pauly Shore's not in Airheads. All right. I'm going to uh, track. You know what? Can, uh, Go ahead. Continue. Well, we, uh, can, we can start with this. How about this? this uh, uh, topic. ENN. ENN. Here there we you. go. For God's sakes, Rob, wake up. Now, a lot of people are upset on social media that I changed the Don Rant uh, poster because it was Rodney wake up. And then when Rob wake up, I just thought it was funny to cross lazy. out Rodney's name. Right, Rob? Yeah, lazy. I, I thought funny. You think lazy. That's two, that, that's two different interpretations of it. Um, it wasn't really Don. It wasn't really Encino a rant. Man. Anymore. Encino man, there you thank go. you. It won your point, God. Though you should be proud of that. Uh, you know, I was, I was very happy. It was the right call as well. Griffin I had a wasn't. feeling when I did. Griffin that. wasn't happy. Hey, I'm here. Yeah. By the way, I, <laughs> Griffin had a hell of a day. Don, I, you know, Michael's not here, right? No, last no. I checked. So we, I'm here. So he yeah, he had to go. So I can properly trash the New York Post without Michael uh, defending. Yeah, he them. won't get any pushback from here. He might text you. I'm not going to get into the specifics. You know he's listening. But there's a there's an article right now on page six about Hot 97. Okay, talks about some some controversial things. Interesting. Okay. Involving anything involving you? Nothing involving okay. me. No. Wow. Yeah, I that's know. good. Rare. It's the New Nothing. York Post. <laughs> it's the New York Post. It's talking about someone from Hot 97. It's not me. Um, but here's the thing. This is this is what makes you upset. In, in talking about Hot 97, it talks about the influence and history of Funkmaster Flex and how big the station is, and it says the station is current home. To what's the direct quote? Hold on. Oh no! The, no, no. This is this is beyond. Oh, no. Is it Michael K. Show esque? It's it's Flex helped invent the network. First of all, no one calls it a net. Like local radio stations aren't called networks, but whatever. Flex helped invent the network, hosting its first hip hop show in 1992, back when it was a pop station. It's gone on to become a juggernaut in the genre, hosting among other things the highly influential Breakfast Club. What? Couple couple issues. Hello. With that. Yeah. I mean, come. This is the New York. This is his beloved newspaper, Don. This is the beloved just, New York Post. Is it a page six problem? Wake up, Flip. This Wake is up, Flip. ridiculous. Thank you, Griffin. Griffin agrees. All right, sorry. And, I'm moving and, on. and well, we missed this from uh, this was a, this. I, this might be two years ago now, but this is a great drop from Don. I saw some great movies this weekend. I saw The Godfather. I saw Gone with the Wind. I saw It's Pat. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was good. That's a moment in time. Uh, drop Madness. Change the bed. Everybody, tomorrow. First matchups. We're starting tomorrow. We are starting tomorrow. The start of the tournament. Oh, today's Wednesday. Can you believe it? Which, I weeks. have lost track of all my days. I, I feel no like I feel like Joe Torre. Every day is another month. You know, I had a <laughs> not I, exactly. The <laughs> every day is another month. <laughs> the calendar flips quicker. Is that what you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the idea. The older you get, yada yada, that type of thing. No, but today it hit me. Today I, I went to a funeral today. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. My my cousin Stevie, my dad's my dad's first cousin. My dad has a lot of first cousins, but Stevie was the man. And Stevie passed away, and uh, it was it was very sad because he, you know, seventy two these days, guys, is young. Like he was in great shape. So seventy two, like it just is. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where I, obviously I've been to the funerals of people who are very young, and that obviously Adon has a different feel. Sure. And then someone dying very old has a certain feel. But like early seventies is a weird one. It's still very sad. You're yeah. like this guy was just he's, Stevie was so good, 
Anyways, the the rabbi she said something about uh, it was a very I'm sure it was a very basic phrase, a biblical phrase about how like our lifetime is essentially like you know nothing in terms of the grand scheme of the world. Right, right. It's like it's like a it's like a, a, a second. Of time, when you think about the fact that the, di- that the dinosaurs were around fifty million years oh, yeah. ago, yeah. our lifetime, you think Joe Torre feels old? Yeah, I mean, imagine how God feels. Look, look at, <laughs> look at how the dinosaurs felt when the when the calendar flipped. You know what? Uh, speaking of which, I'm sorry, I'm going to let you start in a what second. What happened to that meteor? I know. So, uh, the other day, I was watching the Morgan Freeman uh, Planet Earth vehicle. What's sure. it called? You seen it? Yeah, I think I have. It's not Planet Earth. It's called something else. But it's it's Morgan Freeman, Don, as the voice of God, as he should be. Right. That's right. Talking about everything. And there have been three different extinction events mm. in history. Our planet. Our planet. Is that what it was? Don, so there have been three extinction three. events. Okay. The, the last one was the one. You know, it was dinosaurs gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was the last one. That yeah. was the last one. Where does the Ice Age fit into this? Was that an extinction event? I would think so, no. That was How before. many chances you get? That was before. <laughs> Wait, wait, was that directed at God? <laughs> was that directed at God? You had a call. How, How, many, chances? How many chances you get? <laughs> Just three extinction events. And, at this point, we know. And, and by the way, so 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 we're just sitting here hoping <laughs> that the next one doesn't happen during our lifetime. Don's just sitting up there. Look at this garbage. <laughs> Look at this garbage. Well, that, I mean, so you're literally just hoping that we don't happen because wow. another one's coming. Well, the yeah. question right. is: Is the next one man-made? Are you ready? I'm going to no. blow your mind with this. I've okay, thought about try. this many times before. I've actually had this conversation with Andrew Gunling. Oh, um, he goes very deep. All right, so these extinction events mm-hmm. happen. Yep. Now the one happened. We figured while well, the dinosaurs were here. Mm-hmm. How do we know that we didn't have a society that made it to this level? That made it to this level or beyond? Right. And then extinction level event, and you got to start all over again. Like, we think we're the first to do all this stuff. This might have been done a, a few times before, and we're saying three extinction events. That's what we know of. Well, that's a great question. So where did we, we know the dinosaurs, we got to that point, but what were the other points before that? a great that? point, because you're talking about the dinosaurs being around 50 million years ago, right? right? Mm-hmm. So at some point, there was another version of this. They made it here. There, there was a 98.7 FM. It eventually wow. became 10.50 AM oh, again. Oh, it did it now. Yeah, no, it, wow. the, whole oh, thing, the whole thing happened again. So here's what you'd have to Who ask. Have thought? You'd have to go to the scientists now and say, tell me this. If there was another extinction event, have you guys done anything that, if it were to happen, could survive and a future world would be able to find it to know? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Because well, I mean, you it would depends think on that, the level of extinction. I mean, I don't know. Is there, is there any way to survive it? I, I, I don't know. Well, you got to be a cop. Like it, which dinosaur were each of you? Michael, Don, Peter. Which dinosaur? Yeah, don't try to simplify what we're saying. No, You're not on the same level. I'm really not. Right yeah, now. You, what kind of dinosaur would you be? What, what are you going to put this up on the ESPN uh, Instagram account? <laughs> That's not my job. Let's send Jake That's back in. We'll, have Jake's we'll in the show it. tomorrow. <laughs> which dinosaur would you be? Don would be a, 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 a t- t- T-Rex. <laughs> Michael, because of the length of his head, would clearly be a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> no, Michael can't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, um, I, I think I'm a Stegosaurus. I mean, I think I'm, yeah. giving, I'm giving Stegosaurus. I feel. I think that. I think that's fair. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm not a pterodactyl. No. No. None of us can fly. That's just silly. Let's <laughs> not be ridiculous. Let's <laughs> not be ridiculous. I'm not Larry Blurred. John Winthrop points out uh, the Ice Age was 100,000 years ago. So that's post. Oh, when, that's way post. When dinosaur. Ray Romano was walking around with the with no, the sloth. No, no, and no, no, the, no, no, no. Saw, but that was that was. I guess that was an extinction event. I believe it was based on true events. So that's the most recent. <laughs> I, I guess that's the most. So the dinosaur was the second one. That there was a third one. Is that what you're saying? That was the third that's one. That's what they say. I think they're. That's what they more. say. All right, sorry. Go ahead with the end. Because well, remember, let's there, get to the sports. when you take a look, our what sports isn't um, Venus is supposed to be like our sister planet, right? Like that's mm-hmm. supposed to be what we're going to end up being. Like what was Venus? But they were Venus was us, and then eventually something happened to get it to that point. Oh boy. Where it's covered so, in gas and it's just was a mess. this all? Oh, you know, did Venus it's already do all this stuff? I was like, is Venus like hold my beer? <laughs> <laughs> because like we we've seen what happens, it's yeah, not good. Yeah. Really uplifting stuff on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, this is scary. I don't really. You don't anyway. think this is good though? 
I mean, the only thing. Oh that, no, of course. The only difference between this and the conversation that some of our listeners are having is that we're not. <laughs> no, hot. no, no. By the way, <laughs> by the way, John. Wants, you don't know. John wants to correct himself. Oh boy. He said the ice age was ten thousand years ago, not a hundred yes, thousand. Yes, years I just ago. can't read. He's not an idiot. Yeah, listen. I don't know why I'm here. Uh, you want to <laughs> you, you want to you want to give a, a, a taste to the uh, to the listeners of what we got what got in store tomorrow for Drop Madness? Yes. Well, of course it's one sixteen, like it always is. First uh, first day. Here we go. Here's the one seed in the flub region. Johnny Damon was a mangy mess with the with the Red Sox. Mangy? A mangy ma mangy, whatever it is. The, it's so <laughs> unbelievably underrated. It's a beautiful all, one seed. All the way to correct me on on, on went and Thank and you. gone and all the things he corrects me on and then. And even after I call him out on Mangi, he can't. He says Mangi. He goes to Mangi. He, tried, he was he was struggling through it. He was struggling through it. And then we have this, the the upstart 16 seed. But I am Jim. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's got no shit. Love it. Well, listen, it's a 16 seed. That's Wagner. You know, it's only happened twice. <laughs> I don't even know if it's happened in Drop Madness history that a 16 No, I'm won. sure it has. Oh, no, it has. Because, has it because really? I got to tell you, that he did deserve the thing that I've gotten on social media. Okay. <clears throat> is how terrible I've done at this. I know. No. The exact opposite. Oh, wow. How your seedings are spot on. Well, thank you. With, with Andrew, we got a lot of complaints, right, Peter? I mean, we've taken phone calls. How is this, that? Now, I mean, we'll see once we start doing it. But when, at least on the social media pages, people thought you nailed it. Perfectly. Well, here's well, that's why there's no way that that 16's got a chance to win. Right. Well, here's the interesting thing, Peter. You I know respect the, yourself. I know you had some issues with a couple of the seedings. Uh, it was the 15 and 16 and one of the? Was it? You yeah, got that dog in them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hides so. wrinkles, your jowls, your double chin. <laughs> you well, the reason that this is it has gone so well this year is because, to your credit, you said we should bring Jacob and Tom into this because they... Uh, and you're going to blame it on them now. No, no, no. They helped me. Mm -hmm. A lot of these drops, some of these drops, and drops that weren't seeded, were not in this tournament before Jacob and Tom... Oh. Came along. I gave them what I had, and I said, "Listen, there's like 40 drops from each of the regions that I've knocked it down to. I didn't get them in in the beginning when we had the thousand that we have for the whole year." And I said, "Let's take a look at this. Let me know what you think." And some of them were like, "Why is this in here? Why is this?" And we li listened. And I'm like, "You know what? You're right." And you made oh. correct yourself. That's what you do. But the reason those are so low, so I'm actually going to give them credit. I didn't have either of those making it. Jowls wasn't in there. I didn't. And and there were some got, that I you liked. You got that dog better. in them? Wasn't in it? I, I, it's not. Look, it, I, it's still a 15 for me, and I didn't think it was that strong. You, Jacob and Tom felt different. I'm, I'm about good it. with that. You you think he got that dog in him? Was only a 15? Yeah, that's fine. You really want to stump for uh, he got that dog in him when it's up against? That's it. not true. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not true. Is it? It's the reason that's not true is a great drop is because it's very useful. Right, and but so is he got that dog. I know, we just but don't it's use it enough. It's a good point. Special, by the we, way, Steve tweets. He did the work. We've had six mass extinction. No, six. Levels. no. I, I, Morgan Freeman Over told me it was three. Forty million. I'll never. Yeah. I will no. never. No, I will never question Morgan Freeman. It's 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 three. Trust me. I watched it on Netflix. It has to be true. All right, go ahead. Funny sorry. region one seat. You soiled yourself. Chocolate soft serve in your pants <laughs> against yes. Don. Nobody coaches me up. Uh, both. That was a late entry as well. Now, one's funnier, but I, I I think the last one, nobody coaches me up, is a, is a better drop. What do you think? No. All right. Chocolate soft serve in your pants. It's very, very good. I, I really, this was my one I'll seat. never forget where I was. I really, really like the troubling one seat. Football Mondays on the Tool 7. box. Football Mondays on 98.7 ESPN. Bullshit. Football Mondays on 98.7 ESPN are brought to you by Slomans. You just fought through it. That's that's what it's it's a Slomans gets a plug for the whole tournament. <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> a nice it's a nice piece of work right there. Uh, and then this one I loved. 16. I feel it for one point. No, that's not feeling it. That's feeling it. Feel uh, this then, okay? <laughs> you're <a fake laughs> <guy. laughs> Uh, the, you know what was you know what's underrated about and this is because I'm just looking through this and it's so fun to do this. I wish that people, the listeners, could see how fun it is to listen back to every single uh, drop we've Lord, had over lucky the year. You. It's 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 a treat. <laughs> Jacob and Tom got to witness it for the first time, and it really is a treat. My favorite part about the troubling eight seed isn't really the beginning part of it. I'm hearing you. You're very low. You're the low. Oh, oh no! Man, Something's oh, going man. on. Do you say Manischewitz at the yeah, end? he does. I enjoy that. He does. Me too. He <laughs> really? quietly goes, Manischewitz. <laughs> that that's that is, might be my favorite part of the drop. That's very good. And uh, the one seed. And now this is why Griffin had such a strong day. You know what? He, yeah. he's Dan Hurley. He's in, He's already making calls on Thursday. No one has got to prepare for Stetson. He's already getting ready. He's got to defend his one seed next year. Yeah, you know what is something. And and he and he's up against. I mean, it hides wrinkles, your jowls, your double chin. Jowls. <laughs> you help there too, Don. No, you know what? Don actually heard it. 
Yeah, you I really? Do you think yes. so? Yeah, you, you agree, I, I, don't I you? I regret. I apologize. Yeah, it's okay, Don. You can't do anything about it. But if Don doesn't get in there and you hear the clean, because he's almost hitting Michael with like a Patrick Mahomes like rant of saying one after another, and Don got excited, and it happens to us, even the best of us. Well, I got I got to tell you guys, uh, the voting will be the same. It will be on Twitter, mm -hmm. Team ESPN. But, but this year we actually have a website that I'm going to put up on. Our page where you can listen to every drop from all the regions what? so you can make an informed decision about where you're going. What do you think of that? I like it. Because you know the system that we had before. Yeah. Which was A, cumbersome, B, tiring, and C, not very good. Yeah. I, I like what you've done. I respect the committee's work. And unlike a lot of the things that have been said about the men's uh, tournament in basketball, mm -hmm. this you guys listen, you do the work, and, and, and you deserve to be lauded for it. Yep. My, my friend Francis uh, sends an interesting... Uh, text. Okay. I like this. This is interesting. Okay. He said, Peter, the drops are delicious this year, as usual. Ooh. Can we talk about the fundamental difference between a short drop and a long drop, mm -hmm. please? I feel like there's a big difference between the utility and the funniness of a long drop versus a short drop. Almost feels like they need separate brackets. They should not go against each other. Hmm. They are very, very different. They are different. They are different. And, and, and again, this is the third year now that we've done the new regions. Um, where it's not Michael, Don, Peter, and yeah, another. Maybe there should be a long drop region. So we might have to start having mm. the conversation about a long... Now, the, here's the thing. Because where's, saying... where's this getting used? If, we, if you lost Ira, it's like losing concrete, Cronkite. Or, just... or Concrete. I don't want to lose either of them. Well, no. and, and you're you right. play it during the show. You, now, now, Andrew did take a lot of usefulness into consideration. We've cut down on drop usage a little bit. Um, and I tried for... F the flub region is really the things that are the most funny to hear back again. And those are ones, like you said, Peter, that we don't get to hear a whole lot of. Yeah. There's a lot of flubs there that are like eight Some. seconds, seven seconds long. So many flubs. They can never... And they can never really be used. Yeah. Uh, ben MGM, blah, 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 can be used. We just don't use it. But I do enjoy it. No, that's tomorrow. We're looking very much forward to drop Well, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, somebody that didn't... Uh, that wasn't enjoying themselves last night was Wally Zerbiak. He was on CBS Sports for the coverage of the uh, first four. And he was not thrilled with Virginia's performance losing to Colorado State and made his, uh, made his thoughts known. This performance matters by Virginia. I mean, Mountain West completely blew them off the floor. Mountain West, we've been saying, has been completely underseated. And the way you perform in this tournament, it puts the committee on notice. They made a mistake putting Virginia into the NCAA tournament. Every bracketologist was saying it. They go out and play like this. It's unwatchable basketball the way they played today on national TV. St. John's is sitting there like, we've won six out of seven. We're scoring 90 points a game. The names. Playing great basketball down the stretch in the Big East. Seton Hall beat Marquette and UConn. They're sitting at home or in the NIT. They should be in this NCAA tournament. Pitt should be in this NCAA tournament. Or Oklahoma. Also, Oklahoma, the, the committee made a big mistake by putting this team in the NCAA and tournament this year, and it's nothing against Tony Bennett. He's a I'll great coach. national championship winning coach, but his team did not belong on this floor with Colorado State. Did, did they miss 17 straight shots? They didn't score, Don, for an hour. The, uh, Michael, Almost an hour. Michael was nice when he's like Virginia's style of play. It's a nice way of saying they, they just can't score. Look, you know from the, and, and this, is, this is a team that Tony Bennett took to a national title in 2019. This is a team that does beat you by scoring 60 points and right. they're going to hold you to under 50. Also, the a team problem, lost to a, a 16 seed. The problem with them this year is that they also can't score <laughs> on top of only being able to uh, to hold you to 60 points. They can't score 60 points. And that was evidenced in a game where Peter as you always talk about is this really the start of the tournament? This is not helping it's, the argument. It's, it's, it's the, start the start of the tournament. tournament. It's I don't it's Jabroni Pumple Duck it, City. It I have no use for it. The definition as Peter would say tournament of Jace. Tournament of Jace. Um, it really is. No, no, no. I'll take it a step further. It should be tournament adjacent mm -hmm. on. It's tournament adjacent esque. Wow. It doesn't even feel when you turn it on. Well, it's like actually, on CBS. I'll tell you this. When, True TV. As when you turn it on, it feels more like you're watching the NIT than it feels like you're watching the tournament. Now you do give credit to that Wagner. That might be point god for tomorrow. You do give credit to Wagner because they did win their L first one. Love to see it. And they do have to face UNC. But you know what? For a team like that. That doesn't always get to the tournament. That's a pretty. That's a pretty cool moment for these kids. And then they have. Yeah. And now they're in the big tournament. They are going to play on Thursday. I think they're like two forty-five. Mm. The two forty-five game. And because they're playing uh, UNC, they're probably going to be on CBS. Now let, let me ask you this. Sure. Let's say you're St. John's or Seton Hall. Yeah. And you make the dance, but you make it as a play-in. What would you rather? Win your play-in, and get dismantled by the one seed. Mm-hmm. Or make a run and win the NIT. 
Well, clearly, if you're at St. John, your answer is um, you want make in. the play in. Yeah, you, you take the play in. Uh, Give yourself I, a really? chance. Really? Yeah, no, you, no, wait, wait a minute. Really? I know I, they'd I, probably be in that 10 no, spot I'm that not, Virginia I'm was not in. saying would you rather be in the NIT and win it uh, uh, or go to the dance and have a chance. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You're going to go to the NIT and you're going to win it. Or you're going to get to the dance and you're going to win against whoever in the play in and they get pummeled by 20 points by North Carolina. Wouldn't you rather play the games of the NIT and no. win the NIT? No. Because what is this? We just said but you that the game get you won, nobody cared about, and then the game you played was in the middle of the afternoon but you, you get gotta, crushed. If, if you get it, you have to believe there's a chance you can win a play-in game. Especially because I would guess, since Virginia was probably one of those teams that just barely made it, St. John's or no. St. Hall were going to be that 10 seed. But, and then playing a 7 seed. But you played the role of me, and, what, and would you? I'm laying it out for you. Would you rather? Would you rather win not the NIT? Potential? No, I'm telling you what's going to happen. You're going to you're going to beat whoever Longwood in the in the in the play-in, and then lose by 20 to North Carolina, or win the NIT. Which would you rather do? I I have no interest in the NIT. Winning it is like it, you know to to to. To, to quote right. something that we hate, kissing okay. your sister. All right, fine. It's nothing. So, I might so what is the, the equivalent the of the winning NIT, on True TV with nobody watching and then playing a 230 tip against North Carolina, lose by 20, and then, you're, and then you go home? Like, what, what, what was that? But as a f- oh, I, I made it to the NCAA but I, tournament. I, 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 Do okay. Seton Hall or I'm, St. John's hang a banner if they win the NIT? I guess that's the question. They mm-hmm. probably would. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, uh, uh, they listen, probably want to go and win it. Listen, as a, as a fan... Mm-hmm. Of a team that currently stinks, but I think we would describe as basically kind of a perennial tournament kind of team in Maryland. I, ha- If they go to the NIT, I literally don't think about it. Right. If they go to the tournament, I'm counting down the minutes till they play. Right. So I just, I, I just, I'd rather go to the tournament always. It's me. I think this was a beautiful Ian and that is going oh, to do it so for much. Ian I love Brought to you by like. Security Dodge Shop 24-7 at securitydodge.com during their Dodge Power Shot Days Jeep Celebration. Celebration event and Ram Salvation event. Truck month. So I'd, I'd go now. Now you got me interested. Because you... That's uncomfortable. You soiled yourself. Chocolate soft serve in your pants. Pretty much, yeah. That's right. Tomorrow, Drop Madness kicks off. Michael will be back on the program. Yay! Oh, are you kidding me? It's going to be a fantastic day tomorrow. More on Otani. Uh, the Otani fallout with this his interpreter. Turns out the guy's been illegally betting and stealing money from Shohei Otani. Oh, you can't bet. That's a wrap on the show for today. For all of us here on the Michael K Show, this is Chris Sheeran saying have a great night. We'll see you next time.